Ukraine has been at war with Russia for eight years in the eastern part of the country, but tensions are even greater now, with Russian President Vladimir Putin determined to keep Ukraine from ever becoming part of NATO. Western New Yorkers with family there, they're keeping in touch with their relatives for updates. And tonight, they gave Two On Your Side's Daniel Church the latest on how they're preparing for a worst-case scenario. Buffalo native Andrew Kulik has extended family in Ukraine. It's why he's worried for them and for the entire country amidst the threat of war. Everything that is going on in the Donbass region, which is the eastern end of the Ukraine that has been commandeered by the separatists, is all about a playbook of provocation. They are causing us problems and consternation, so we have to invade. Russia has amassed 150,000 troops at the border with Ukraine, and a blame game of aggression has been playing out daily. This week, a bomb was set off in the eastern part of the country. Pro-Russia media blamed Ukrainians for the violence, but just a day later, a humanitarian convoy was attacked heading into the country, which U.S. intelligence says Russia was behind. The world is watching very carefully, and I don't, I don't think they're fooling anyone. Maria Potabry moved from Ukraine to Buffalo in 1991, but still has a lot of family there. They're telling me that they are packing emergency supply um, suitcases in case there should be um, an air attack or a full-on onslaught of war. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is now requesting a meeting with Vladimir Putin to try to resolve things peacefully. Meanwhile, President Biden says he's convinced Putin has already decided to invade Ukraine's capital. If Russia decides to do so, Kulik says Ukrainians are not going to surrender. So there is a definite sense of defiance. We're going to fight. And ordinary citizens are being taught uh, how to shoot, how to evacuate uh, injured people and, and safety protocols. Despite the threat, Kulik says his family remains hopeful there will be no war. Potabry hopes that Ukraine's allies could be enough to stop whatever could be coming and prevent people like her family from eventually having to seek refuge in nearby countries. There's certainly still going to be a lot of innocent blood spilled, but Ukrainians have a lot of respect and confidence in the Western world in that they will not allow this to happen. The crisis that will ensue is going to be devastating, not just for Ukraine, for all the countries around. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.